Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. We're gonna go ahead and do a what you need to know reading. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe your tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you are returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well, hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support, Gemini. Thank you for all the good vibes, okay? Let's go ahead and get into this. Now, when I sat down to do this reading, it was 10-10 on the clock, okay, at night. So 10-10 uh, could be significant, 12-12 could be significant. You could just be seeing like double numbers, okay? Like 99, 55, 66, okay? Things like that. Yes, this could definitely be telling you that some kind of um, karmic situation has come to an end, Gemini, or karmic justice has come through for better or worse. There's also been some kind of contract that's been severed. This doesn't necessarily have to be with like a um, soul connection. This could really be talking about just, you know, a karmic contract. Like maybe you, maybe you were sent here every lifetime and you have like a certain element that you go through or a certain struggle that you always face. Like maybe every single time you come here, you go through the struggle of poverty. Okay. Every single time you have to, um, experience life going without or experience life kind of feeling like you're struggling and things aren't really working for you. There's some kind of cycle that's ended where you're not going to feel the way that you felt in other lives. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, how do I know how I felt in another life? <laughs> it, there's this like this feeling like in your soul, like, you know, I feel like I learned a lesson there and I'm never, ever, ever going to have to experience that again. Or for instance, maybe you are, you have come into money or you have cleared out that cycle of poverty somehow within yourself in this lifetime. Maybe you started your own business and it just went off. Maybe you became a content creator and you, you know, made a million dollars or something. I don't know. Right. But there's just this energy of like, you have somehow fulfilled that cycle. Like you've completed it. Okay. And in doing that, that karmic cycle has closed out in the next life. You won't have to repeat that. You won't have to you know, live in poverty again. I'm just using that as an example. It could be anything, okay? Um, but that's kind of what I'm getting, okay? We did pull the world card for just overall energy and, you know, the world card in tarot can talk about something coming to a completion, a cycle coming to a close. I also feel like maybe you're broadening your horizons here, Gemini, in some way. Maybe you're going to be traveling or you're expanding yourself, expanding your vision. Um, I'm hearing it's a small world after all, so I don't know, okay? There could be something there with maybe you just feel like, wow, it's a small world. Um, I usually say that when there's some kind of like coincidence, like I meet somebody and they have like my exact name or something, or we, you know, I don't know, went through the exact same thing or just happened to line up at the same time or something very synchronistic is usually when I'll be like, huh, small world after all. So I don't know, there's some kind of energy about that. Like it's being, it's a small world after all. Now, while we were shuffling, the gift did pop out, Gemini, and I got the distinct message that you are a gift, okay? You are a gift to many people, um, but there's also this energy of possibly a gift coming towards you, okay? There could be something that you will be gifted with. We have Protective Nest, card number 25. So 25 could be significant or seven could be significant. Maybe something in July is going to be happening. Um, you could be a life path seven. Yeah, remember how I was talking about that cycle, closing out a cycle of poverty? That's exactly what I'm getting here with this protective nest because seven, that is a card of a spiritual struggle or a spiritual lesson, learning a spiritual lesson. So there's something about your own security, your own boundaries, your own sense of um, self-worth, determination, willpower, tenacity. I'm getting that kind of energy, okay? Um, there's something about that that you've learned some kind of spiritual lesson in regards to that. Now, Gemini, we've talked about this recently, but you do have a lot of potential, okay? Um, you have a lot to offer. 
Some of you have, you know, you're put together financially, you have a decent job, you have a decent place to live, you know, you have all your ducks in a row, you're working on your credit, you're clean, you're not out here on these streets just throwing your booty at everything that'll take it, you know what I mean? Like you are a great catch, you have a lot of potential and I feel like Spirit wants you to be careful out here on these streets. Spirit does not want you to be just giving yourself up to anybody or being open to anybody. There's an energy of like you have something valuable about yourself so make sure you're protecting it. Okay, I'm getting that very strongly. Make sure that you're protecting. There's almost this energy of like, they're showing me somebody taking their shoes off before they come in somebody's house. Okay, which, you know, I, I know a lot of people, that's, a, that's a custom for a lot of people. A lot of different people, a lot of different cultures all around the world. But usually it's it stems from the energy of not carrying dirt from the outside into your house. So there's something about that. Don't carry toxic, low vibing things whether in the physical or in the spiritual, from the outside, from the world, into your house. So perfect example. Say you're at work and everybody there is lo like just low fucking vibe, okay? Everybody wants to bicker, everybody wants to fight, or everybody wants to be competitive. Maybe this is a family gathering, or this is a connection or a friendship. There's just this energy of like, it's there's something dark and like toxic about it, and it's draining. Don't bring that into your house, okay? Like before you even walk in your door, they're giving me the energy of like doing like a little shimmy dance or shaking off your energy, guys, just shaking it loose, okay? Maybe just sit there and twerk real quick. I don't know, right? Whatever you need to do, okay? At the door to like just loosen up the energy, um, you know, just before you even walk in, just go ahead and announce it to the, to the uh, universe. I'm removing any kind of negative energy that I've picked up along the way. Any hitchhikers are not welcome. Okay, it's like something about like making sure that your house is like your safe space, energetically, physically, okay? Like there's something about protecting yourself, protecting your home, and it's important that you don't drag anything from the outside world into it, okay? Whew, okay, so they're showing me a baby blanket. That's crazy, treasured memories, wow. But they're showing me a baby blanket and it's a blue one. So there could be um, something significant about that. Maybe you're a parent or maybe you're, you've been thinking a lot about your childhood, Gemini. Maybe some of you guys are going to be a parent and so you're thinking about your childhood and you're trying to create a safe space for your um, young offspring, right? I, I don't know, okay? There's something like that for some of you guys. Definitely nesting energy for um, those that are pregnant or those that are with somebody that are pregnant like you're expecting to okay there's that kind of energy here of like a nesting energy um card number 18 18 could be significant okay or life path nine nine could be significant definitely almost at the end of uh, several lessons here is what i feel like gemini this is like six of cups energy though so there is a lot of reminiscing right now some of you guys could be kind of like what we get this energy a lot guys we get this energy a lot and a lot of people will be like oh my god Gemini is always out there just in the club tearing it up just being minions on the streets right and there's this energy of like I get when my, my readings we're like at home we're studying we're putting on face masks we're playing our games right we're building our airplane models <laughs> like it's like that's what Gemini's are always doing like we're just low-key and chill okay it's like we turn up but it's very selective turning up and I feel like we are in this space here where we're keeping to ourselves. There's an energy of wanting to lock the outside world out for some of you guys. I don't know. Some of you guys might not have that opportunity. Some of you guys might have to travel for work and you're just really wishing you could be home or you're trying to kind of like home is where the heart is and your heart's inside of you. So you're going to make the best of it. I don't know, Gemini. Okay. <laughs> That's just for some of you guys. Some of you guys have kept um, a memory locked up, okay? And you might not be remembering this clearly. Whatever this is, this could be something from the past, this could be a connection, this could be, um, you know, a, a memory, a meeting. There's something that you, you reminisce, you replay in your head over and over and over again, Gemini, and I'm feeling like it's not what you're thinking. There's something about that don't add up because this, this outfit do not add up. Okay, I don't know. Treasured memories. It's like she, I don't know, Gemini. Or somebody is, this could be somebody's energy towards you, though. You could have locked somebody out. Like, there could be this energy of you taking space. Like, no. And somebody, they think about you so much they can't put together a, a decent outfit. I know that sounds crazy, but that's what I'm getting. Like, somebody is all over the place. There's an all over the place energy connected to something from your past. Some of you guys are just not remembering something correctly. You know, sometimes when we look back, 
um, and we're reminiscing, okay? We can really be looking back through rose-colored glasses sometimes, remembering things and differently than they were, people in better light than they were because we missed them or whatever. There could be that energy for some of you guys, or this is somebody's energy towards you. Somebody does keep you as a treasured memory, but I feel like you might have your guard up against this person. That's for some of you guys. Okay. All right, let's see. Anything else for Gemini? It's always get kind of strange messages when we use this deck, so bear with me. What, do, what does Gemini need to know? Okay. We have the Rose Garden coming out, card number nine. Yeah, you are in bloom right now, Gemini. Okay? Some of you guys are going through, like, your dark feminine energy. You know? Male or female. Okay? Um, they're giving me the energy of, like, you know how, like, when the Earth, okay? When Mother Earth is very giving. When she causes things to bloom. When she causes everybody, to, you know, to have warmth and to have shelter and to have sustenance. Um, you know, the earth is your home. The earth is your environment. It's your habitat. It's what keeps you safe. It's what keeps you alive. Okay? So, there's something about that. But, the earth can also have hurricanes and tornadoes and earthquakes. And there's something about when the earth decides, when Mother Earth decides to take back. You know, or when Mother Earth decides to stop giving, like the drought phase, right? Like when there's a drought, the Earth isn't giving you rain, you know, it's cut you off essentially. There's something about that, Gemini. Some of you guys might be going through that phase where there's like a healthy selfishness coming through. You're not just giving to people, you know, and people might be thinking back on you in that aspect of like, oh my gosh, I remember when Gemini used to just say yes and you should just bend over backwards and you should just forgive me right away and come crawling back or whatever you used to do, Gemini. There's no judgment here, right? I just get this energy of like you used to be a lot. And I don't want to say nicer because it's not that you're nice. It's not that you're not kind or anything like that. It's just that you're putting yourself first um, and you're taking back some of the things that you've been so freely giving, okay? So for instance, like they showed me the drought, if you've been so freely giving emotion, you're so open, you're so giving, you're so, um, you know, healing, you're pulling that back. <clears throat> and people are experiencing a drought energy around you. Um, and they're thinking back on with how it used to be. But again, there's something about the way they're thinking back where it's a skewed memory, Gemini. So they're thinking back like, oh, I remember when Gemini used to just give me everything that I wanted, right? And they're not stopping to think, yeah, everything that I wanted. And I wasn't stopping to think how Gemini felt and what Gemini was going through and if Gemini needed anything, you know what I mean? It's like we take so much from the earth you know, we pollute the earth, we build on the earth, we cut the earth's trees down, we kill the earth's other, you know, ha habitants. Like, we're not the only living beings on earth, but we treat the earth like we are, right? So there's something about this feeling of, like, tired of being taken advantage of or, you know, something's not even here with an equal give and take in your life with people around you. You give a lot, Gemini, okay? Or this is reversed. Take it as it resonates. You always have to take these readings as they match up for you. But I feel like for the majority of you, this is the message. Like you just give a lot and you're really protecting yourself now. Okay. Yeah. No rain today. <laughs> that is crazy. Guys, that is crazy that that just came out. I know y'all are like tripping with me right now because we were just talking about that drought. No rain today. Yeah. You're like, nope. I know that traditionally this card is talking about like having a great day and there's not going to be any sadness and no worries and that could definitely be what this card is trying to tell you Gemini like you know you control your own energy you control your aura there's something about you that you're very protected right now okay um and so nothing can really touch you you almost seem to be in like your own little bubble Gemini is what I'm getting in a very um safe way or I don't know a spiritual bubble it almost feels like so this could definitely be what this is talking about okay I just noticed two, we have two nines because 18 reduces to nine and nine, okay? And then we have 37. So anyways, and 10, okay? Nine, 10, anyways, with the numbers. Um, but that's kind of what this feels like. 
is like, no rain today. Sorry, I'm not performing. <laughs> I'm not giving. I'm not coming back. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing any of the shit that I used to do. All that, um, any, whatever you used to give in excess, Gemini, you're not doing anymore. Whatever anybody else used to benefit off of you in excess, you're not doing that anymore. So that's why I'm almost getting like the dark feminine energy, okay? Like the principle of chaos. Like people don't know what to expect from you and it's not in a toxic way. It's just in a way of like, Whereas before, people might be like, hey, Gemini, you think you could take me here and then drop me off here and then um, come pick me up and do this? And you'd be like, okay, kind of inconveniences me, but sure, you know? Now you're just like, no, sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> and they're like, uh, they're not used to it. That's just what I'm getting. There's been a transformation here. And it's a gift, right? Card number 23, five could be significant. Definitely for my May Geminis, okay? Um, but I just feel like there's something here. Like, it's like, no, my reign is a gift. Okay, my emotion is a gift. My healing energy is a gift. Um, you know, the water is everything. Like the water is what <laughs> we really need water to survive. So there's something about it that's very critical, something about it that's very valuable, and it is a gift. So you're not just giving it out to anybody. That's just kind of what I'm getting. Let's see uh, what's going on. Why you're why you're in this energy, Gemini? Why you ain't giving to nobody? Okay, Eight of Cups. Thank like you. Walk away. Okay. Maybe to go towards things that are exciting you or things that, you know, fire you up or give back to you. I don't know, right? But there is this energy of walking away um, and not giving to things emotionally. And there's like something about like, there's a badass energy that's coming up off this card. Like they're showing me like those scenes in action movies when you walk away from something and there's an explosion in the background. <laughs> I don't know, Gemini, right? I don't know your life, okay? But that's the energy like, right? Walking away from that shit. I don't know. Some of you guys just walked away and you're like, you guys can figure it out, <clears throat> right? Cold as ice. Hey, I don't know what to tell you, right? I don't know if that's right or wrong. I feel like if it's wrong, you'll be experiencing some karma. If it's right, then you won't be, right? But I feel like for some of you guys, you just, you were like, I can't do this anymore. You walked away or you left something behind or you emotionally detached from something and you let everybody else pick up the pieces as they might, as they may. <laughs> Damn, Gemini. Okay, you're like, I'm free, bitches. <laughs> I don't know, Gemini. <laughs> I just do not know. Okay, but that is what I'm getting. Okay. <laughs> Pretend. <laughs> Let me get some coffee. Hold on. <laughs> Protective nest. Damn. Protective nest. Okay, I wonder what the cross watchers be thinking when they watch our Gemini videos. I just wonder when they come and step inside our world, what they think. You know, like <laughs> these people are weird. <laughs> Okay, protective nest. <laughs> Why are you protecting your nest so much right now? Or what is this card about? Ten of cups. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, Gemini. That would be why somebody would protect their nest. You want to keep it happy. You want to keep it cohesive. You want everything to be, you know, harmonious and flowing. You want the abundance to stay. You're feeling very fulfilled with all these cups here. Ancestors don't even got to be awake. They're sleeping. They're, they're set. They know everything's Gucci. There's just this energy of like, yep, you and your twin are on the same page, right? Um, which makes everybody else around you happy, you know? Happy twin, happy life, even though it's happy wife, happy life. I feel like it's happy twin for us, happy life. Because it doesn't matter who we're around, who we're with, it doesn't matter. If we're not on the same page with ourselves. we're truly not gonna be the life of the party. Um, <clears throat> but there is this energy here of like, yeah, you just wanna keep everything good in your life, you, or you wanna create this kind of energy if you, um, don't feel this way yet, Gemini, okay? You're trying to create this. I feel like there's this energy of almost locking your way, yourself away from the world. Like when I look at this, I get the sense of like we're in our own little world here where we're blissful and we're happy. And, you know, some of you guys might be cutting yourself off from the internet or, you know, social media. You might be taking a break. You're just, there's something about that. And even if it's not like a family, like it does, it's not you and a partner, but it's you and your kids or you and your fur babies or just you, right? Um, there's still this energy of like protecting your home, protecting your family, protecting yourself, okay? And um, basking in all the abundance that you built for yourself and just the happiness that you've created for yourself because the Geminis I'm talking to, I can't speak for everybody, guys, and not every part of every reading is going to resonate, but the Geminis I'm talking to, like you really have created this happy um, household energy for yourself even if it doesn't look like what we see on this card it's like you've created a happy uh nest 
for yourself, okay? Some of you guys are definitely welcoming a baby. Or you will be, okay? Or there's somebody in the family that's going to be having a baby. But there's something about that, welcoming a baby and wanting to kind of get your nest ready, okay? Some of you guys are going to homeschool your baby or homeschool your kids. Getting that energy too. You're thinking about it as for us in the States here, um, for most of us, we're going, yeah, homeschooling. For us in the States here, we're going back to school in August or, you know, September. So there could be this energy of wanting to homeschool and you're looking over that. Okay, I don't know. That's just what I'm getting here with this card. Yeah, I just feel like there's this energy of feeling very blissful. I was pulling on this treasured memories next, and I do feel like there's somebody around you that wants to visit you, Gemini, or wants to message you, okay? You might have taken some distance from this person, or you just are distanced from people in general, because it doesn't matter. This doesn't have to be somebody from your past. Uh, just because it's given Six of Cups energy, um, it could just be soul connections or romantic connections, friends, family. There could just be people who they want to get in. Maybe they see you, you know, looking very blissful, right? And they're like, I want some of that. I don't know. That's for some of you guys, but I'm definitely getting suitors coming to you, Gemini. And since your back is turned, um, you might not be expecting this or realizing that people are like, for some of you guys, you're not realizing people are flirting with you or coming on to you when they are your back is turned, you're, you're up in la la land. You might be heavy in reflection right now about something, Gemini. You're thinking about something really heavily, so you're not noticing that somebody around you is interested or somebody around you is um, flirting with you or you don't notice when this person comes in, when this person messages you or you might be asked out on a date and you're like, what, me? They're like, yeah, I'm talking to you. <laughs> There's some kind of energy about that. like, Or maybe you're on a date and you're just not interested in the person. You're thinking about somebody else, Gemini? Come on now. Why are you dating if you're thinking about somebody else, bro? Come on. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to anybody else. Like, just, you know. And if you are, listen. If you are going to sit there and the whole, the whole entire night that you're on the date, think about somebody else, Gemini. Go Dutch. Pay for your own shit. <laughs> okay? I'm just saying, stay karmically correct, okay? Don't be making people pay for your shit. Especially for my females. Don't be pay, making people pay for your shit and then you're thinking, exactly. Seriously, like she ain't never told no lie. Keep yourself karmically clear. If you're just using somebody as a, it's, it's wrong to use people, first of all. But if you're using somebody as like, I need a distraction. I just want to go out. I want to connect with another human being. I want to have a good time. I don't want to get down and dirty with this person. You know, I'm open to just having a good time. But I know my mind and my heart is heavily on somebody else. There's an energy of like paying for your own shit, like paying your own way. So that way you don't owe anybody anything. We're just two adults having a good time together. There's nothing here. Like, you know, I don't know. There's something about that. Like if you're not interested, Gemini, and other people, make sure they know that you're not interested. Okay? Make sure that they know. Like if they ask you out and stuff, like, yeah, there's that energy here. I was about to say, there's that energy for somebody that's trying to get over you by being with other people, Gemini, and it's not working. It's really not working. I'm getting that energy heavily. Like the, the more they date other people, the more they think about you or the clearer it is, or if this person's with somebody, okay? Um, the long, <laughs> every time they're around this person or what, it's like they think about you more and more. Like it's just bringing more and more clarity that you're who they want to be with. That is for somebody. This person might not have ever even been with you before for some of you guys. I'm getting that very strongly too. Like for some of you, this could be a coworker or a friend or somebody who's interested in you. And this person does date other people. Like they're open to seeing other people, whatever, but they, they cannot stop thinking about you. That's for some of you. I don't know. That's for somebody. Maybe that's why I was feeling that feeling of like, Almost because I don't like that energy of like using people to forget about other people. That's not fair to the, the person that you're using. Okay. Like that's not cool energy. So I don't, I don't think that would be you guys, but there's like thousands of you guys in here. So I can't, I don't know every one of y'all. I don't know what y'all do. Right. I can't give anybody the benefit of the doubt. I don't know any of y'all. So <laughs> if that is you, then there you go. But this could also be somebody connected to your energy, Gemini. Like somebody is doing that. 
but they're they don't want to i feel like they're feeling very conflicted about it plus it's causing drama because you know i feel like even if you're not interested you're still going to be a good date gemini right so you're still gonna like hook the person and like you know and then that causes issues because then they're fighting over you and uh, there could be some kind of situation if it sounds really toxic i don't know to me that's toxic but whatever that's kind of how I feel, okay? King of Pentacles energy, he be showing up lately, so. He does like to have his cake and eat it too. That's the shadow side of the King of Pentacles, so, you know, okay? <laughs> Maybe some of you guys that you know that about a masculine energy in your life, Gemini, this would be specifically for my females watching um, or my feminines. If you know that about a masculine energy, like you're already, you know, okay? And you're not falling for it. You're not interested. You're not any of that shit, okay? That could be this situation too, because this is kind of a crazy energy. For some of you guys, this could be somebody who wants to come towards you and you're not interested in them. In fact, if they came towards you, it would be combative energy. I feel like they know that, but they still want to come because this is reckless energy here. The ancestors hanging on by a thread. They got sharks with them. So there's a fear element here. They're scared. I don't know if they're really prepared or this is an impulsive action that they make because they don't got shoes on. Okay, so I don't know. There's this kind of energy of like somebody is willing to come fight. Like they want to heal the situation. Aquarius energy, Cancerian energy. This might happen at night that they come towards you. Somebody might come to your house at night, Gemini. Oh, heck no. Heck no. I don't know. There's something about that though, okay? Well, why is this person coming towards Gemini? Like besides the obvious, what's going on? Yeah, because you're single, you're independent, you're free, you're set, you're stable, you're doing good, you're looking better. Some of you guys have been working on your body, right? You're turning this person on. It's like the, it's, they like the chase. The King of Wands likes the chase, okay? I mean, most masculine energy likes the chase. They're natural born hunters, right? And providers. So they don't like, you know, it's in their DNA to have to chase after it and then to feel the pride when they can put it on the table. That's that kind of energy. It's just in their DNA. So there's something about that, like that you're not paying attention to this person or you don't want this person or you're not interested. It's like, it makes them want you more. That's toxic. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Who do I, I don't know, right? I don't know. Okay, but I just get that energy. That's why this person is wanting to come towards you. This person might have betrayed you in the past or this person has seen that you've been betrayed a lot in the past. And maybe they want to be the person that can fix all this conflict for you or make things right or I don't know, show you that real love exists, okay? I don't know what these people thinking, okay? I feel like somebody put you in a third party, Gemini, or there could have been some kind of energy about that. It was a heavy, heavy betrayal. So if they want to come towards you, they're probably going to get that smoke. I feel like they're... <sighs> I'm sprung, but she got me, got me doing things I never do. If you ain't been, I'm telling you. That's what they're saying. I don't know. This person's sprung, so they're willing to go for it. Well, God bless them on their journey, okay? All right, Rose Garden. What else do we have? If they're willing to, if, if, if they are willing to come towards a Gemini who is going to give them that smoke, like they, are, they know they're flying into a combative situation and they're still willing to come towards you, Gemini, this person obviously, in their own way, has some kind of love for you. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's natural, okay? I'm not saying you need to entertain it. I'm just saying that they probably do have some kind of love for you because Gemini's can be vicious, especially with our mouths when we get angry, okay? Like, we'll cut you down. So it's like, you know, <sighs> Rose Garden, dark feminine energy. I'm telling you, right? It's like, this is you sometimes. Like, this is you, okay? We morph into some weird, like, where there were triplets now instead of twins and there's sometimes it, things feel out of control you're anxious you're scared you're worried but then at the same time it's like chaotic energy and feeding that chaos sometimes gemini i feel like again all the people pleasing all the being a doormat all the yes yeah, sure i'll take you here sure i got fifty dollars sure i'll come back and forgive you after whatever you know, it's like all that has caused a lot of stress and anxiety 
intention for you. And I feel like there's this energy here with this too, of uh, possibly being frozen in time sometimes because you're not sure, because you're all wrapped up in, well, if I do this, then it's gonna upset this person or it's gonna cause this problem or it's gonna make this wave. This is obviously not for everybody, okay? But I feel like a strong like 180 almost where that's an about face, right? 180, I'm pretty sure, because the 360's all the way. Yeah, so 180 is like the other way. I, anyways, I feel like that's the energy though. Like there's a complete 180 or there's a complete turn or something like that where it's like, no, I don't do that anymore actually. And I like it. I'm in bloom. I feel great. I don't know. Okay. That's for some of you guys, but this could definitely, if you are in that energy, this is making other people around you feel like this as well. Like I said, treasured memories, you know, oh, maybe if we go over there and we're nice to Gemini, they'll be nice to us again. And it's, it's almost annoying you a little bit for some of you guys. Like, I don't want you to be nice to me. I want you to, I hate to be like that. I hate to say that. I hate to say that, Gemini. I don't want you to be nice. I want you to just leave me alone. But that's for some of y'all. Yeah, I gotta call, I gotta call it like a seat. Yeah, you're like, what? I want you to leave me alone. I'm in my Zen mode. Damn, like I'm doing great. I don't know, that's for some of you guys. Ancestors sleeping again. They're very pleased. Your ancestors are pleased with wherever you're at right now, okay? They like that you're, you've are you taken on this healthy selfishness or that you're doing what's best for you. And because it's not in a malicious way, but people might be taking it in a malicious way. Yeah, people are like, oh, Jim and I, they're over there. Uh, they say they're resting. They say they're taking care of themselves. They say they're trying to have healthy boundaries, but really they're just, you know, being selfish, being greedy, being deceptive, being manipulative. It's like people are taking your self-care and they're turning it against you almost, okay? Now, for some of you guys, and this is not gonna be for everybody, this is probably for my masculine energies. I'm getting the energy of somebody who's very dark, okay? A dark feminine energy around you. And this is not the dark feminine in the, in, in the aspect of I've been really nice and now I wanna take back, okay? like. A hurricane energy it's not like that it's more like I've always been a hurricane I've always been a tornado I'm just a dark feminine energy okay somebody who likes to wreak havoc somebody who likes to cause people pain um, they are just selfish it's not a healthy selfish there's a distinct difference guys okay there could be somebody around you like that uh, for my masculines or feminines but I am picking up on masculine energy there's somebody around you like that you're trying to build a protective nest against this person um, whether you have another partner or not, it doesn't matter. Um, and this person could definitely be like trying to like guilt trip you with stuff. Like, oh, don't you remember when we went to Sonic and we shared that milkshake and you laughed so hard it came out your nose and dee, 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 right? Trying to like bring up all the memories and, and you're very resistant to this because you're like, this is what you leave me feeling like though. I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, I didn't like it when ice cream came out my nose, right? I don't know, there's something about that. Um, but I just get this energy here of like, for, yeah, there's somebody you really don't want to be around. For my masculines, it's a feminine energy. She might do dibble dabble or she might involve other people in y'all's connection or in y'all's business. Okay. But this type of person, like you guys have a fight and she'll call your mom <laughs> or call your dad or call her mom, her dad, like, and tell them about the fight. And, and like, this is that kind of energy, guys, okay? But she's like treasured memories. She's like, no, things were great, right? No, something was not great. So no matter who, who's thinking back here, Gemini, if it's you thinking back and reminiscing on somebody um, and what y'all had or a situation, if it's somebody else doing it to you or if it's this weird other energy that's shown up, okay? That doesn't feel like it's attached to you or a prospective person or whatever. Uh, I think that's whatever guys uh that's the energy i'm getting here like there's something about not really seeing things correctly she's like oh no it was great we had a great relationship and for my gemini masculine y'all are like no it was like a lot of this okay it's one thing when it's like this and then the feminine energy can be like yeah it was <laughs> Right? Like it was actually. There was a lot of chaos. There was a lot of arguing. There was a lot of this. But for somebody to come back and be like, no, everything was great. It was perfect. It was wonderful. And it clearly wasn't. It's like, I don't know. There's something about that for some of you guys. Okay? I feel like you guys are, if, if that resonates for my masculine energies, this King of Pentacles energy, Gemini, it's just your energy. That's the energy you're in, I guess. That's your signifier. Your, your big big papa slash mama energy right now. And I feel like somebody sees that and they maybe they want that. 
I don't know, maybe they want what you have to offer. Yeah, because there's some kind of deceptive energy that could be attached to this dark feminine energy. Okay, this is def definitely dark feminine. I don't know, with the moon, right? The moon represents the feminine. I don't know, Gemini, okay? Let's go ahead and see what else we got. What cards do I wanna pick just for, yeah. Advice slash additional messages. For Gemini, advice slash additional messages. We have Diana. Diana could be significant. Okay. Focused intention. Think about what you desire and set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. I feel like that's what you're doing right now. You like you want to create this protective nest for yourself. Okay. And we have divine order, Lady Portia. Okay. So do what do what feels right. An important lesson is unfolding. Think about what you desire and set your sights high. It's like spirits giving you the go ahead to do what feels right for you or to, you know, that's, that's again, like that's that energy of healthy selfishness. Do what you feel is right. Think about what you desire, you know, set your sights high. There's that kind of energy of like expecting the best outcome for yourself, Gemini, really creating this Dharma almost is what I'm getting where, you know, you matter because before like whatever past cycle of karma that you were in, it was like a lot of people pleasing. It was a lot of like, oh yeah, sure, I'll do this, I'll do that. So with this Dharma that we're creating now for ourselves, it's like you're not in that energy. You're you're really taking your power back. Odin, psychic insight, your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is and follow your intuition. Coming right on top of that dark feminine energy. Okay, because I feel like we got two distinct energies in here when it comes to feminine energies. We have a feminine energy that has been giving, 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 just like the mother earth, and now she's taking it back. And it's not in a malicious way. It's just that it's in a very fair and balanced way. Okay? Like, if you're not good to me, then I'm not going to be around you. I'm not going to sit here and cause problems in your life and, you know, go call your mom and gossip on you and do all that shit. I'm just going to disappear. It's that kind of energy, like taking, pulling back your energy. And then we have another dark feminine energy that definitely takes matters into her own hands. Okay, there's somebody who causes a lot of chaos, wreaks havoc on people is the energy I'm getting, has false intentions towards somebody for sure. Could definitely dibble dabble because the psychic card came out right on top of her. So could definitely, you know, you know, and that's not, you know, being a psychic is like, being a psychic doesn't mean like you, as soon as you meet somebody, like you automatically know their deepest, darkest secrets. That's not really how it goes. You kind of have to dig. You kind of have to search. You kind of have to look into them a little bit and try to read them. I feel like somebody might do that. I don't know. I'm getting a kind of like dark negative energy. You might see a lot of crows when this person is around or hear crows. Okay. But there's something about that. Okay. Um, but yeah, this person might have even tried to cast on you or I'm getting also like with this uh, cauldron, like feed you something. I don't know guys, whatever. That's kind of energy I'm getting though. But you see the truth of this person. That's the thing, you're not confused. This isn't like, a, oh, is this person good or bad? I can't tell. You can tell. There's also a putrid smell, okay? Ew, right? <laughs> Ew, but there is. There's like a putrid smell attached to this person. Okie dokie then. Um, all right, Gemini. Well, that has been your reading. I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.